Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. I apologise about the noise. All of the windows are wide open because it is hot today. I'm going to go and make George's bottle quickly and then I'm going to catch up with you guys in the garden. George is going to be sitting in the shade having his bottle and hopefully we're going to start the vlog. Hello, hello. Right, so George is just down here having his bottle. Where are you? There you go. Hi George. Hi. It is currently around lunchtime. He hasn't had his lunch lunch yet, but he has had, well, he's having his bottle. I'm sat in the garden because it's so hot today, but we've got a nice bit of shade because we've got the parasol up and everything. Um, George is pretty cool, so that is good. The only thing about sitting in my garden and trying to vlog is we've got jets going over our house constantly. Um, that is like really far in the distance. A minute ago, you would not have even been able to hear me speak. I know it's probably not the best sound quality, but it's either that or I don't vlog, so yeah. So like I said, George is just having his bottle right now and it is Wednesday. We're still on our own this week, so Ash is still away. My granddad is coming up tomorrow to come and visit, which is gonna be so nice, but today is like a really hot day and I don't have any plans. So I think we're gonna go to the park. I'm gonna try and walk Molly a little bit later tonight because it's just too hot for her at the moment. So me and George are gonna go to the park, have a little swing on the swings and stuff. I'm gonna take you guys with us and yeah, we're just gonna have a little chill, hottest day of the year so far day. I am not gonna lie to you though, last night was a nightmare with George's sleep. He just wouldn't. Um, that is pretty much it. He's going through like the nine month sleep progression. If you haven't seen my nine month update video that I did last video I think then you will see that yeah George is just struggling a little bit I did have a few tips from Huckleberry the sleep app thing that you get alerts for and there's another jet I'm really glad that he's not one of them babies that hates loud noises because he would absolutely hate it here you finished hey I'm just about to go and grab George some lunch. I'm not sure what we've got today. I think I'm gonna do just carrot and parsnip fritters. I had them in, I already made them up. So hopefully that'll be enough for him. But it's quite hot, so I don't think he's gonna be too hungry. I'm gonna offer him loads of water. He's been drinking really well out of his 360 uh, munchkin cup which is really good because it doesn't spill these are so good um and now that he can actually drink out of it and get the water out of it it's like my favorite cup ever so i'm gonna link it down below for you because if you haven't got one i just think they're great they're so good do you want it there you go good boy <laughs> good boy <laughs> so I've literally just ripped up a couple of fritters that I've made. So I made these ones which are carrot and parsnip and then the green ones which are more like fish cakes. They're um, fish that I just cooked in the oven and then I just mashed up some potato and put a couple of breadcrumbs and stuff and some spinach and all like together and then mashed them up and then like shallow fried them in a frying pan and then like little fish cakes. So that's what you've got for lunch. They're really easy like little bite size pieces super super easy for him to pick up and eat so yeah that's what you've got for lunch isn't it although they're not particularly instagrammable he eats them he likes them all is good in the world and then for my lunch i'm just having some tender stem broccoli that i just stir fried for a bit with some parmesan and some chili flakes i've got goat's cheese and some fried parma ham as well i've got some hummus it's such a random lunch but stuff that was all about to go off so i thought i would chuck it all together and see if it tasted half decent <laughs> Okay, so there's been a change of plan and a change of outfit. Um, I've just put George upstairs to attempt to have a nap, although he's not loving his naps right now, especially not the afternoon nap. He's just like, no, I'm not having this and like climbing up on his cot. But anyway, we're gonna attempt that. And then we're gonna go around to my friend's house who literally lives around the corner. She's got three kids and one of them is one, so close to George's age. Um, can you hear him on the monitor? <laughs> I literally can't even see him on the monitor, which means he's just climbing up on his cot again. But after George gets some sort of sleep, or rest at least, then we're going to go around to my friend's house because it's such a hot day that I just think it'd be better for him to be in a different environment that's not here, but 
inside or have the option to go inside or like have shade or whatever whereas if we're out like at a park or something there's not going to be guaranteed space so yeah we figured that we'd just go around there and it's just a little easier because it's only around the corner she has loads of stuff that he can play with and stuff so it's all good so i'll pop in some footage and stuff if i get any of when we're out but i will catch up with you guys probably tomorrow hopefully i'll have some sleep by then because i literally didn't sleep a wink last night but i don't know if you can hear that but it doesn't sound like i'm gonna get any sleep because he's not sleeping right now which means he's probably not gonna sleep tonight wish me luck guys <laughs> Puffy died. I've literally just got up. Um, just got George up. Gave him his bottle. She's having a little chill down there. Um, but I did want to come on because last night was the first night that he has had a sleep through the night. And it seems like forever. He's been going through like some sleep regression stuff. Um, you would have seen that on his like nine month update. And I've mentioned it a lot on Instagram. Um, but he slept through the entire night last night, which I'm so happy about. Um, I think the only thing that I did differently was he was just in his nappy, not in a baby grow, not in a sleeping bag, not in a vest, just his nappy. And I also gave him, my friend suggested this, and it actually seemed to work. I gave him a damp muslin, so I literally just ran it under the cold tap, squeezed the excess water out, and then gave him that to, like, hold. Um, and he slept through the night. I mean, I don't know whether it was because of the nappy or because of his muslin, but it worked. So that's all I know. Finished? Oh, where are you going? Bye. My friend who has a little girl actually gave us this. So it is pink, but George loves it so much that I thought I'd keep it because look at him. He's standing up on it. He's playing all around with all the little bits and bobs. As long as he's stood up, George is happy. But look at that. <laughs> Face. Do you love it? Hey? Should I take your bib off? There we go. Do you love it? Hmm. Apparently, actual toys can only distract you for about four minutes, isn't it? <coughs> Why do you love this baby gate so much? Why? Oh, and this one, look. This one's open. Oh, no. You crazy boy. But, yeah, my granddad, George's great-granddad, who is named after, um, is coming over today. Um, they live about two and a half hours away. So, he's coming over, staying overnight, and then heading back tomorrow. But I thought the weather was going to be nice. I was going to suggest going to the beach, but it's really misty and foggy. So, all right, darling, you can go down. There you go. There you go. Are you going to see your favourite great granddad? Are you going to go see great granddad? Oh, look at you. <laughs> Yay. What are you doing? George? George, what are you doing? Oh, playing with the toy again. You're not supposed to crawl underneath it. Hey, you're not supposed to do that. Okay. <laughs> it's coming up to about eight o'clock now, so I've got to go and make George some breakfast, but I'll catch up with you guys a little bit later. What are you doing? Are you stuck? Are you okay? There you go. There you go. I oh, know. <laughs> but yeah, I think I'm just going to do Weetabix or something for him. But I will catch up with you guys very, very soon. Bye. Apparently this is our new game this morning. Climbing on the dishwasher. I'm pulling that out. You having fun? Good thing it's clean. God. They my troubles to rest. Both smoke through my
It's a couple of hours later. George has just got down for his first nap and my granddad is on his way. So once he's here and George is up, we're gonna go out for a little bit. It is raining though. I don't really know what to do. I was gonna suggest to go to the seaside because it was really hot yesterday. And I just assumed, foolishly assumed, that uh, it would be hot today, but it's not. So I don't know what we're gonna do. But it's gonna be really nice to have some company and get out of the house and just have someone to like entertain George aside from me. Um, so that's gonna be lovely. I've tidied as much as humanly possible. Um, I mean, this situation, it's just, it's just life, fun here. You know, I have nowhere to put these things. So they are staying out because George is gonna play with them when he gets up anyway, I guess. But yeah, I think I'm gonna leave today here, enjoy the time with my family, and I'll catch up with you guys tomorrow. Bye. Good morning, guys. I'm coming to you from Essex. I actually drove down here yesterday. I didn't vlog or anything, but I drove down here yesterday with George in the car at his second nap time, and we arrived in Essex last night. Just got up this morning. Um, I'm half ready, I've like washed my face and brushed my teeth but I haven't done my hair or makeup or anything. Um, and George is just here trying to climb all the furniture as usual. Hey, what are you doing? Mm. Look at you big boy, look at you. Mm. The reason that we're in Essex is because I actually have my first afternoon <coughs> in the office today back at work not like working working it's like a keeping in touch day i've got to go pick up my new laptop um and all that kind of stuff so my where my work is where we used to live is so far from where we live that here is actually right in the middle so what we decided to do was come and have a pit stop here overnight then go to where work is tomorrow um just so that george is not in the car for longer than like two hours at a time then work and stuff are going for a lunch which is gonna be really nice because everyone's gonna be in the same place at the same time and like obviously everyone's been working from home and stuff i obviously haven't seen them in a long time either so we're gonna go out for lunch i'm gonna take george to the lunch with us and then my mum's gonna come and pick him up and then i'm gonna go into <coughs> into the office for the afternoon to do like keep it in touch things a bit of admin all that kind of stuff in preparation for me going back to work in less than a month's time which is let's not talk about how scary that is but anyway i don't usually when i go away take my camera to vlog but i thought that i would do that this week because it's involving like going back to work maternity leave finishing all that kind of stuff and i know that you guys are interested in that um because I talk about it a bit and it is just one of those really scary life-changing moments I guess like life is about to change again so anyway I thought I'd vlog it with you guys I didn't however bring my laptop so I'm not gonna be able to edit this until I'm home which will be like in a week's time so it will be a little bit delayed but at least you guys will get to see it some of my work friends actually I think only two of my work friends have met George when he was like first first born like pretty much days old really like a week old or 10 days old something like that um and obviously it's changed a lot since then because i haven't been there we haven't been able to travel or i haven't like been down in that town so yeah it is a very long way from where we live now i really hope he's okay in the restaurant with all my work colleagues because it's just i don't know anyway i'm sure they'll understand a lot of them have kids themselves so oh god what are you doing what are you doing hey we actually had to remove, this had like loads of fake coals in it. It's just like an electric fire. Um, well, this bit heats up, but obviously it's not on or plugged in or anything. But it had loads of like little fake coals in it and he was obsessed with them. So we had to remove them. We just put them in like a carrier bag and hid the carrier bag, so. You can't get them anymore, can you? Hey? Hi. Say hi to everybody. Yay. <laughs> I have just got a stench of a nappy that needs changing, so I'm gonna love you and leave you and I'll catch up with you a little bit later and let you know how work goes. I'm a bit scared, I'm not gonna lie, but I'm really looking forward to seeing everyone. But yeah, anyway, I'll catch up with you guys later. So we are just in the car now, leaving for Hampshire to go to the lunch and then for work afterwards. George is in the back, you can't really see him. 
He's down there, aren't you? Um, he is due a nap now, so hopefully he's gonna sleep the entire way. I mean, I say that now and he probably won't, but it is nap time and he's due about an hour and a half nap. The journey is two hours and five minutes, so I'm hoping we're gonna get there and it's all gonna be okay. But yeah, wish me luck guys. Two hours in the car with little Georgie. Hopefully he sleeps. Um, he tends to when it's nap time. If it's not nap time and we've been in the car, absolutely no chance. So yeah, wish me luck and I will see you there. We've just stopped off the services and George had a little poop, Hi. didn't you? I went into the services and stuff and um, sorted his nappy out. It's actually a really good services, it's fleet services and um, they've got loads of like disabled toilets with nappy changing things and they've got a whole nappy changing room as well but that was full so I went in to one of the disabled toilets. George is all sorted, one sock off, one sock on. Are you happy aren't you? You had a good nap, you had a really good nap and um, we're ready to go. We're not too far now, are we? So yeah, we're gonna head off and I'll probably pick up the camera again, either once we're there or afterwards, after lunch. He's been really good to be fair. He had a little bit of a tantrum like five minutes before we got to the services. So I'm glad that the services were literally right around the corner. For when we arrive at the restaurant, I've already got his formula and I've got his bottle and I've got some warm water. It was boiling water when I left and then it's obviously cooled down a little bit in the flask. So I'll make his bottle up when we get there. Hi George. <laughs> I think this car seat is the best thing that I've ever, ever received from a company. It's the Greco Turn To Me car seat. Let me just show you quickly. It does turn all the way around like 360. He's obviously facing backwards during the car journey, aren't you darling? And um, yeah, it's just perfect. I love it so much. And especially with my car, it's a mini and the doors are really, really um, small like to get in and out. So the fact that I can turn this around to like get him out of the door is just such a lifesaver. Like I cannot tell you, I really recommend this car seat. It was a gifted thing. I did a collaboration with them. And honestly, I love it so much. I think everyone should get one. Don't I? It goes up to like four years, which is amazing because obviously we'll be able to keep this. It extends up the top. This isn't a pay collaboration at all. I just love it, rave about it. I just think it's brilliant. Um, this as well, to keep them entertained in the car, I got this from Whirly, um, the Twig subscription service, which I'll link a few details down below. He loves it, he plays with it. When he's awake, he'll play with it during the car journey and stuff. It's got a mirror so I can see him. Anyway, we're gonna jump back on the road and I'll catch up with you guys later, bye. Okay, we just got here and I'm just giving George his bottle. Where are you? I'm just giving you your bottle. Uh, I'm giving it to him in the car because last couple of times we've been out in restaurants and tried to give him a bottle, he's just been so like fascinated with everything that's going on, he's just not drank it. So I'm gonna try and give it now and hopefully then he'll have something to eat as well, but he won't be as like fussy once he's had his bottle, hopefully. It's really raining as well, so that's fun. Um, and George doesn't have a jumper because I'm a great mum and I forgot it. But I'm sure we'll be fine. We'll just do a quick dash inside and yeah, I can't wait to see everyone. They're gonna be in about like 10 minutes. We're a little bit early because I left, left like a little bit of time to stop at services and for traffic and stuff like that. So yeah, I'm looking forward to it. <sighs> Hello everyone. We've had a little bit of an outfit change, haven't we, George? Because we were sat outside at the yeah. restaurant, um, which I didn't realise. So I put a jumper on him and some new socks and stuff. Um, oh, where are you going? Lovely, touching the handbrake, that's safe, well done. Very safe. <laughs> um, but yeah, we've just had lunch with all of my work friends um, and it was really good. He, George was really, really, really well behaved, like literally so chilled um, and stuff, which he's not always when we're out for dinner, so it must have just been like the new atmosphere. There was so much to look at and stuff, so he was very, very happy, weren't ya? But he's very, very, very ready for a nap. Now, he woke up at 11-ish, and um, it's now two o'clock, so he's been up for three hours, and he's very ready for a nap. So my mum is on her way. She lives about an hour away from where I am now, and she is on her way uh, to pick him up. Gonna get the car seat and everything into her car, um, and then she's gonna drive him back to Essex, and I'm gonna go into the office down here, and I'm then gonna follow them up a little bit later on after I've been into the office and things like that. So. That is the plan. Um, I'm really hoping that George is good for her, but 
like I said, he's very due a nap. So hopefully you're going to be good. Oh yeah, hopefully, hopefully. <laughs> so yeah, a little bit of a logistical um, challenge, it's fair to say, but it is just what needs to be done because he lives so far away, isn't it, Georgie? Isn't it, Georgie? Yes, what are you doing? He's holding on to this, um, look, that thing, aren't ya? Oh, whoops. Wowzers. You can probably see it. He's had a little bump this morning. He um, was trying to climb the stairs at my friend's house and he had socks on and it was a hardwood floor and he literally just slipped. You can see on his head he's got a little bit of a bump. Um, but I mean, it was bound to happen. I was trying to pack his bag to get here and I wasn't paying attention as much as I should have been. And bump! But you seem fine now, darling. Huh? You're gonna bump your head again if you keep doing that. I actually think my mum is here now, so I am gonna head off, get the car seat and stuff into her car, and then I'm gonna go to the office. But I will catch up with you guys probably tomorrow at this point because, yeah, I'll be back in Essex then. I will see you later. Hello, guys. We are back home. It is a little bit later since the last clip you would have seen. I think I was finishing up at um, the work do maybe, but we had such a lovely week. George, you can go down there and play if you like. Um, we had such a lovely week. We had spent time with friends that we haven't seen in ages. We saw family we haven't seen in ages. Loads of people caught up with George and stuff. We haven't seen him since like before Christmas. I didn't end up vlogging as much as I thought I would just because <laughs> George, look at him, ready. You right, darling? Hi! Mwah, you're so cute. But anyway, I think I am gonna leave the vlog here. We did also look at wedding venues, but that is gonna be in next week's vlog because I did film a few like clips and things of the wedding venues as I was going around them. But uh, I wanna do like a whole video about the wedding venue that we ended up choosing because we have chosen our wedding venue already. I'm really, really, really excited about it, but I will be sharing that in a separate video on Wednesday. So yeah, watch out for that. But for now, I wanted to say goodbye. George, you're gonna say bye. Bye. Bye everyone. Ah, oh, you're putting my hair again. Thank you so much for watching, as always, guys, and I'll catch up with you guys in the next one. Bye. It's you, glue all the pieces back together. Yeah, you, you take all my wrongs and make them better. Yeah, you, you're making me want to try forever. And I feel so free, oh, my sweet baby.